that's interesting that we are listening to Ellis Cooper, and that's kind of how you got your start. Oh, it's my favorite. It's my favorite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's what inspired me to be a singer. We grew up with that, Detroit. Yes. All our local bands were the Stooges, the MC5, and Alice mm-hmm. Cooper, so uh, it wasn't a bad upbringing. No. And well, Detroit had so much incredible music back in the day. Well, you had the but rock, you had the Motown, the blues, the soul. I mean, just everything. Yeah, yeah. It was such a mix, and it just spawned some of the greatest stuff that came out from the uh, 70s, really. Well, well, late 60s, too. I'd like to say yeah. it. Motown, definitely. Everything that was... Uh, to become music later on, I think, started in Detroit in one form or another with Absolutely. a lot of these bands. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that really influenced you, and you just took it and made it so aggressive. How did that happen? How did that switch come about? It was just, you know, Detroit was a rough place. I mean, uh, just the music was great, the vibe was great, the city was wild. Yeah. And it's like, you know, there was a lot of competitions with bands, you know. You always had to kind of take it further than what was yeah. i mean we grew up with good shit mm-hmm. you know that was cool but you know uh you know then we got through the whole punk rock thing you know we grew up with the glam and the uh yeah. you know the dolls t-rex the cooper the bowie all that and then the punk rock came along and we're like okay and then we kind of got bored with that then the oi stuff came around we got into that and we're like all right let's take this the next step because, you know, we're just young, bored, angry kids. Yes. So, you know, hey. Well, the Midwest. Let, 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 let's push it. Let's push it. Yeah. We're bored. There's not a whole lot to do. Mm-hmm. So, uh, you know, let's make some music. <laughs> Drink some beers, you know. And it was, the Midwest was kind of like the forgotten. I mean, they call it in the States the flyover zone. And musically, except for the big names that came well, out. I think a lot of, well, music was always a great place for bands to come. Yeah. Like, a lot of bands had to come to Detroit just to make it. Like, Kiss, yes. nobody cared about them in New York, but when they came to Detroit, they made it in Detroit. I got to say the same thing with the Dolls. Yes. I got to say the same thing with the Misfits. Absolutely. And uh, Detroit always embraced anything that was wild and crazy, yeah. you know, because, you know, it's a real aggressive town. Yes, the, it, the, the, it the was. Kids, uh, they definitely appreciate honesty and you know just good bands you know and do you think that the the rust belt image that we have in the midwest from the 70s and 80s do you think that's what helped the inspiration the tough way things got much more tough as as the years went on and during our childhoods oh i don't know i mean just i mean just our upbringing you know we, you know we're from detroit and just a different generation we've always worked hard partied hard and we play hard yeah. i mean we just we, you know we appreciate letting off steam yeah. so and you know just uh you know what was going around you know when we were growing up just uh the craziness of the city and you know just uh i think there's something in the water maybe that's <laughs> what it is midwestern water yeah, that's yeah. it um and then all of a sudden in the 80s you said enough's enough i'm walking away from this and you went off and you've done some very different type of uh, bands. How did that come about? How did you get well, into you know, we, doing Laughing Hyenas? Well, we, you know, we went through, you know, the hardcore thing. I, I feel like, you know, it really only had its golden moments for a couple years. Yeah. Probably, I'd say 81 to 83 was the cutoff point. Yeah. You know, that's basically when we broke up. Yeah. Minor Threat. All the, I mean, all the good bands, you know, it, it, you know, it just got to a point where it was repeating itself. And then, you know, people were bringing in the metal thing, which, you know, I don't like. I mean, just uh, the original creative side of it just seemed to be a carbon copy of the bands coming out. So, you know, we're getting older. We're getting into different music. Mm-hmm. You know, we're getting into the blues and, the, you know, the birthday party. Yeah. And then just, you know, our love of Alice Cooper and the Stooges and just everything's good about music. Um, you know, just, I mean, it, you know, at that point, we're just getting older and getting into different things yeah. so you know you definitely have to evolve and yes you know we de- you know which and is funny because you know here we come full circle back exactly the but point um, i was going to make but, but yeah yeah you know we're having fun doing this i mean we still have our other band easy action going mm-hmm. which is kind of like a you know continuation of negative approach and the laughing hyenas but 
mm-hmm. what we're doing today. Yeah. And how do you put the two together with? Put put what together now? Put the two bands together and the two different styles that you're playing. Well, it's kind of hard not to put it together since the the members of Negative Approach are Easy Action. A lot exactly. of people a lot of people don't know that. Um, you know, before Negative Approach got back together, after the hyenas, you know, we formed Easy Action, so we were doing that. And then the negative approach thing kind of came along. We thought we were just doing a few <laughs> gigs. And now it's, uh, I don't know. 12 <laughs> years later. How many years later we got going here? You know, we're having fun doing both. And it, it just worked out us coming to Europe. Um, you know, the promoters were into it because they were trying to get us over here. And it just worked, you know, same, yeah. less plane tickets, yeah. this oh, and yeah. the other thing. You know, All same members. Mm-hmm. It's easy. Uh you know, it's kind of it's kind of schizophrenic because uh, I got to look at my past every day and I go, "Who are we tonight?" Who am I playing? Yeah. Well, tonight we're negative approach. Yeah. And but tomorrow we're easy action, and then sometimes you know we do doppel concerts. Wow. So you do both so in we, one we, night. We just did the Einhorn Festival. You know, we did uh, easy action in the afternoon. And then you know we went on later as negative approach. Wow. So this is kind of an experiment doing this. Uh, it's a lot of playing. A lot of playing and a lot of disparate playing, very, you know, different styles. It's, um... But yet related. Yeah, it's completely different, but totally the same. Yeah. That's the way I like to look at it. I was waiting for that one. Um, and where do you think you're going to be going in the future? Which way do you think you'll be going? Well... Probably the next thing coming up would pro- probably be another easy action record. We're still uh, we're still promising a negative approach record. We're still working on it. Um, that's kind of harder to come back to, but uh, it, you know it's easier to refer to us to uh, you know come up with the easy action material because that's you know where we're at now. I mean, there's such a you know a name on negative approach, but you know it's not out of the question. It just you know it needs to be brutal. You know, it just needs to uh, live up to anything else we did. But right now, right now, you know, we're doing both. So with Easy Action, we we don't really have the pressure of, you know, it needs to be hardcore. I mean, you know, if we want to do a ballad, we'll do a ballad the way we do it, which is probably a hardcore song. Anybody else does a ballad, but uh, um, you know, know, yeah, yeah. I mean, we can we can do anything we want. I mean, there's basically no rules, so there's no pressure to to create. We don't have to, you know, have the mindset like well. You know, we really got to write this kind of song. Whatever comes up, you know, it's kind of free and easy. I've been jamming with these guys for like 30 years. So, mm-hmm. you know, we work good together. And it's, you know, it's, you know, we just get in a room, can write a song, you know. You've got that and chemistry we, with each other that yeah. you know what you're going to do. We know each other and we know what pisses each other <laughs> off. And uh, we work together and we can travel together. So, uh Family. You know, it's a brothership. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a marriage. Yeah. It, it has to be in a way, yeah. I mean, yeah. Any any good band, I would think, is. You know, you know. 